Hello, I'm Tino Mosler and today I will explain the slurry installation of tensiometers in six easy steps. The first step is to choose the installation spot and auger the hole down to the desired depth. So you have a hole like this down to the, the measurement depths where the tensiometer will sit in afterwards. How to choose the right installation spot is a topic of its own, which is covered in my presentation about irrigation management by sensors, also on this channel here. The second step is to check the desired depths. You use a ruler and check whether you are really down to the depths you want to measure. So the tensiometer should fit in like shown here no excessive body of the tensiometer stick out, but it should not sit directly on the soil surface. The next step is to collect the extracted soil, remove rocks and organic matter from it, and mix the soil with water to a thick slurry. It should be a little bit thinner like porridge, but it should be as thick as possible so that it can still flow. In the next step, we pour a little bit of the slurry into this hole. So at the end, it should sit about five centimeters deep in the hole and the rest of the hole is still empty. In the fifth step, we push the tensiometer firmly but gently down, so we have to take care not to break the tensiometer ceramic by ex using excessive force. And at the end of this procedure, the ceramic will be sitting well with optimal soil contact inside the slurry and having a good contact to the surrounding soil. And the sixth and final step is to backfill the remaining gap between the tensiometer body and the soil. You remember we still had here some gap above the ceramic between the tensiometer body and the soil. And uh, this must be filled completely. So we have a full contact between the tensiometer body and the surrounding soil to avoid any preferential flow of water in case of rain or irrigation that water could run directly down along the shaft to the ceramic and giving false readings this way. After the installation has been completed, the tensiometer should give a first reading about two to five hours after the installation. This delayed reaction is due to the moisture we have brought in artificially here during the installation. Thank you very much for your interest and please also visit our website www.mmm-tech.de. Thank you very much.